Y'all hear that shit already? Oh yeah. <laughs> we'll see. We'll fucking see. <laughs> That's the neighbor, by the way. That's the neighbor. Perfect timing. Perfect, perfect timing. Let me see. Yes. That was perfect timing, y'all. Telling y'all. That was perfect timing. I got it all recorded, too. All recorded. Sup? I'm trying to see if, if these people are gang stalking. What do y'all think? The guy's just chilling right there. Rockin' music, man. You got some rockin', uh... You got that rockin' music, man! What's up? I said, you got that rockin' music going on, man. Well, Hell yeah, what is that? Uh, this is Giovanni and the Hired Guns. Giovanni? Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. What you up to tonight, man? Uh, I'm just chilling before I go home. Oh, for real? Yeah. There's a lot of guys who, who like chill in this parking lot all the time. Yeah, I, I, mean, guess, I guess it's like their parents, they're like, oh, I don't want to go home to my parents and stuff like that, you know? I, that, that was like one of the common things that I've heard a lot, you know what I mean? Yeah. I've heard that a lot. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I would sit in my driveway, but... I want the music loud. So. Yeah, for sure, man. Why they they don't they don't let you do the music that loud or something or what? I mean, it's also late. So. Oh yeah, for sure. You you like community watch or something like that? A what? Are you community watch or what? I don't know. Oh, you're not into that like organized gang stalking and stuff like that. The you ever heard about that gang stalking? No, no. Organized community harassment stuff. It's like they they call like the police for like anything. They slander your name. It's from like the federal government down and shit like that. It's like the beginning of tyranny. You know, like Nazi Germany and shit like that. Yeah. Remember what they were doing back then before they started to murder the Jews? They were like, oh, hey, these guys are following us. You know, they're they're stalking us, harassing us and shit like that. Nobody believed the Jews, right? Until we saw what happened, right? Actually, and, and it started, if you want to know the truth, it started in Russia and stuff like that, right? 1910 during the uh, little revolution they were having down there, Vladimir Lenin and Stalin, that was their favorite, that was their favorite tactic, what they would do and stuff like that. You know, they, they would, if anybody tried to speak out about them stalking them and stuff like that, you know what they do to them? They would, uh, they would give them the old medical tyranny, take them to the psych hospital and stuff like that, you know? It's kind of like what's going on now and stuff like that. You know what I mean? It's crazy. People ain't waking up. Well, what do you think about it, man? Do you think the tyranny's coming to our uh, to our country or what? Do you think we just worry, just sit back and chill or what? What do you think? I haven't, I haven't even thought about it. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. But it's a big ass deal, man. Look it up. Gang stalking and stuff like that, man. It's it, I mean, it's it's globally, man. It's not just here in the U.S., man. Yeah. I mean, because think about it. If we were in a communist country, what would they do, right? They would just like, you know, lock you up, throw away the keys, beat the shit out of you. You know, but here in the U.S., you know what they do is they, they use that psychological warfare and shit like that, man. They have people, they have the people spying on the people. You know what I mean? It's, it's this whole community harassment, community organ. And, and these people might think they're doing good, right? They might think like, oh, they might hear some slander, right? 
But see, that's that's the problem, you know what I mean? Is that who's the one that tell the person the slander, right? Who's telling the lies and who's telling the truth, right? It could be very easy for me to be like, oh yeah, there's a kid in the parking lot right now, you know what I mean? He's got a, you know, in his gold looking, uh, looking car and everything like that, and he's selling drugs to the kids, right? See, anybody could just tip somebody off and make them look like a criminal, right? You're not a criminal, I can tell, you know what I mean? I like your little red shirt though and everything, man, you know what I mean? That's really flashy and stuff like that and everything, but you see what I'm saying? Do you see how that could be like a problem? So like, don't worry, bro. This is just a flashlight, man. You, you don't got to worry about nothing. Just, I, I see you kind of getting a little nervous and stuff like that, yeah, but yeah, I'm, I'm huh? I'm chilling. You chilling? You good and everything like that? But like, I mean, that's the truth about it, man. You got to be careful and shit like that, man. You know, because you may not know. You may be even, uh, you know, you might even doing the things that's going to your own enslavement, man. You know what I mean? If you go along with the program and stuff. So just be careful, man. You know what I mean? You, you never know, right? If somebody tells you some slander about somebody, right? Kind of like look into it a little bit. You know what I mean? Don't just go with the flow, right? Yeah. You know what I mean? Because you, you, you never really know what's, what someone's telling you, if it's slander, if it's true or not, right? Like I said, you're a good dude, man. But what if somebody said like, oh yeah, there's a drug addict and they're selling to the kids and shit like that. And then everybody starts taking their word for it. Then any, any college you go to, any job you want in the future, you get put on a government blacklist and shit like that. You think that's fair? You think that's right? It's not, it's not right. Probably not. It isn't right. You know what I mean? But it's happening to millions of people across the world. And then people who don't know about this program, it's sad, man. They end up like killing themselves because they think like, man, what have I done wrong? What did I do? Why does everybody hate me? Why can't I get a job? You know what I mean? Until the person ends up becoming homeless and shit like that. It's sad, dude. It's, it's really sad, man. You know what I mean? Yeah. Just, just be careful and think about that, man. You know what I mean? Don't just join in on the stocking and stuff like that. You know what I mean? On the slander and shit like that, you know? Realize what's going on and stuff like this, man, you know? Because that's our future, bro. We're the future, man. You're not too much older than me, man. I don't think so. You know what I mean? So just what, what, what reality do you want to live in? Do you want to live in democracy and freedom or whatever? Or do you want to live in a hidden dictatorship, right? You know what I mean? Because once, once all the people that they want out of here, out of society, what's going to happen to the people left and stuff like that? Full-fledged digital dictatorship. I'm telling you, man. Full-fledged digital dictatorship, man. Nobody wants that, man. I'm telling you. No one wants that. You know? Look it up on YouTube, man. Gang stalking, bro. You'll find some pretty cool stuff on there and everything like that. Get informed, man. Do good in school, right? Help other people. You see the homeless people? Give them 10 bucks, man. Give them $10. Give them the benefit of the doubt. Hey, if they use that on drugs, you know what I mean? You've got good karma for giving. If they use that, that's their karma and stuff like that. Are you religious? Like Hindu, Buddhist, Christian, Islam? None? Try to, try, to, try to look into it. Find your path, man. Find your way and everything, you know what I mean? Because, like I said, like, look at this goofball, right? Like, doing the noise harassment shit like that, right? Yeah. Down right there, harassing and shit like that, you know? I mean, why do that when it's late? Like you said, you're being kind of respectful, right? All these people out here trying to sleep. Yeah. But that guy's just trying to cause a lot of problems and stuff like that, man. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, I'm just saying, dude. Like, it, just because somebody has a badge, right? And just because someone tries to act... You know, like they're like, you know, enforcing something doesn't mean that they in themselves practice good morals and values and stuff like that, right? They could be corrupt and anything like that. I mean, what do you think people thought when like the Nazis, they respected them. They, they thought, oh yeah, we, these are good guys and at the beginning, right? These are good guys. They're cleaning up the streets and doing all this. Really and then, that. huh? Really That's what they thought at the beginning, bro. How many Germans do you think jumped on board with that? And you just answered your own question, right? Or maybe they were too scared, right? But I'm just, I'm just saying or whatever. They thought originally that they were helping because they lied to them. You know what Hitler said? How do you kill millions of people? Lie to them. That's the truth, right? That's, what, that's from Hitler's own words. I'm not saying they were good people at all. Don't get that twisted. You know what I mean? I didn't say they were good people. All I'm saying is that look how easily they can go in and they can tell people all this shit, right? And then people believe them. And stuff like that so be careful man D just determine of what kind of future you want to live in right because to have freedom and have a nice car have a nice family and have a nice area like this or whatever this could all be taken away from tyranny real quick man with the ai technology bro that's the real danger here man they could take all that away do they know where you're at they know where i'm at at all times man there is no privacy anymore you don't think they got cameras to look through you know through the wall technology you know that shit exists right they can see through the house right from the satellites up there. They don't even need the satellites, man.
Look at that self ugly looking cell phone tower over there. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I mean? It's real. Am I talking the truth or am I talking bullshit? No, I see what you're saying. No, I mean, do you think I'm talking the truth or bullshit? Well, I don't think it's bullshit, but... It's the have, truth. I would have to look more into it. Yeah, exactly. I mean, that's the technology, though. That's why they want a full digital dictatorship, right? Once they get rid of that dollar, digital passports, digital currency, digital everything. Is that a good thing? I don't think so, man, because then... You don't really have freedom, right? With cash or whatever, you can kind of move around. With that stuff, they know everything about you, right? And well, you could argue, well, what do you have to hide if you're not a criminal? So be it, that's true. I know I have no freedom anymore, right? My freedom's been taken away, right? I used to smoke pot, if you want to be real with you. I used to smoke weed and shit like that, man. I used to have all these friends. I used to, you know, be in there. When, when COVID hit, man, I went over there and I was like, here, I'm gonna show people how to grow trees, how to grow fruits, how to grow vegetables, how to bring community together and everything like that. You know what I got? All I got was just a bunch of stalking after me, right? You know what I mean? Put on a crazy ass, stupid ass watch list and shit like that, right? Now everybody fucking follows me. Now every time I come to over here to walk around, I see somebody right here posted facing the entrance right there. What do you think I'm going to think, dog? Seriously, what do you think I'm going to think? The guy's stalking me, watching me, surveilling me and shit like that. You know what I mean? So, I don't know. Just think about that, man. Like I said. And uh, like I said, I see all these all these kids over here. You seem like you got your head straight. Now, sometimes I see a lot of assholes over here. I got them on videotape and shit. My, my YouTube channel loves me, man. They love me exposing all this bullshit, dude. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, like I said, man, just, just remember what team you're on, man. You know what I mean? Do what's right, man. You know what I mean? Find God. Find the Lord, man. Because all these people at the top, they ain't got the Lord. You think all those billionaires and shit like that? Damn, man. You know what I mean? They could care less what happens to us, man. As long as they're getting paid... At the end of the day, it's all they want, man. So, take a little bit into consideration, brother. You know what I mean? Yeah. Hey, God bless, man. Take it easy. He seemed like he was a good kid. Look at that. Look at that dude. Look at that kid. Look, he's driving off right now. Look at that. <laughs> he's driving off right now. Bye-bye, gang stalker. Oh, man.